Hi. Um, I know it's been a little while since I have uploaded and I just want to say I'm sorry. I bit myself out. I was doing too much at once and yeah, I just got a little bit overwhelmed with everything going on outside of my little bubble and I just needed to take a hiatus. I just <laughs> needed a little bit of a break but I'm back and I'm coming back to you with a nice little eyeshadow palette review. One that I've had for a while that I've been wanting to play with but I haven't because I bought things but I just wanted to keep them for my channel. I didn't want to try them so I have a stash. <laughs> Of stuff that I want to try with you guys and I'm really excited to jump into them. Thank you for sticking around and waiting for me to come back. It really means a lot and also hi to the new people who have joined. My name is Kiriel. Thank you for clicking the subscribe button and joining my channel in my absence. It truly blows my mind because <laughs> I'm not that interesting really but you're here for the makeup I assume, not me. So. I get it. Without further ado, let's jump right in to this eyeshadow palette review. This is the look we're going to be creating today. I'm obsessed with it. Spoiler alert! Today we are going to be going through the Pastels palette by Beauty Bay. Now I believe this is currently sold out on their website. It is only available on Beauty Bay. It's £10 and it's a 8 pan pressed pigment palette. I believe in the US that means it's not safe for eye use. I don't quite know what it is in other countries but I've used it on my eyes today and I'm fine but just bear that in mind if you've got sensitive eyes check any ingredients or anything like that just to make sure you're not gonna have any reaction what a pressed pigment typically means is that there can be some staining because of the pigments that are in the shadows themselves and usually those pigments are used to keep the actual product vegan and cruelty free which this is I just checked on the website and it's actually back in stock right now as of today which is the 22nd of July so hopefully it's still in stock when you see this video um, I don't know when this is going up but <laughs> hopefully it is if it's not that's okay. What you could do is you could enter my giveaway so you can win your very own one because I picked up two. So I am going to be doing a giveaway in this video. I thought, you know, I've been off for a while. I should come back and thank you guys. I do still have my big thousand subscriber giveaway that I need to do. I'm excited to do that, but I want that to be its own separate thing. It's just a little thank you for you guys for <laughs> sticking around with me. Um, and I do want to do more of these in the future, but this is going to be my first ever little one All you need to do is make sure you're subscribed to my channel like the video and also comment down below If you comment the rainbow emoji with whatever else you want to comment um, And that will just let me know that you want to enter the giveaway and one of you guys can win this palette I'm not going to give any spoilers, but I think it's a good palette to be given away so without further ado, let's get right on into the video. I've missed you guys. Let's get into swatching this palette and then we'll do this pretty eye look with it. Okay, let's get right on into it. Okay, so I'm gonna do some swatches for you guys, but I just wanted to show you the packaging. So this is the like outer cotton that it comes with. I really love the like tie-dyed pastel. It's really pretty. It's matte and then the actual pastels logo is vinyl kind of thing shiny finish <laughs> so this is the outer carton and the actual palette comes like this so it's very similar got again that pastel swirl on the front and then it's got the bold white pastels logo on the front on the back it's got a cute little paragraph the weight and all of that good stuff on the back of it it's a really cute compact little palette and it's got a little mirror on the inside as well. Yeah, it's pretty cute. I like it. But now let's get on to swatches. I'm going to be doing this with no base on my arm and the way I like to swatch is I just swirl around twice like that and then I swatch. So this is the shade Cloud Free. Damn, that's quite good for a pastel swatch. Again, this is the shade Euphoria Days. That was a really good swatch. First light. Oh, that felt really smooth. Didn't swatch the best, but it felt nice. There's the first row. I'm just going to wipe off my arm to do the second one. Now we've got Golden Hour. That one 
one did not swatch the best. Now we've got Serenity. Again, not swatching the best. Then we have Love Stick. Ooh. Yeah, not doing well on this row. <laughs> and then finally we have a Daydream. Yeah, these are not swatching the best, but they are just pastel shadows. Hopefully they're gonna apply better on the lid. All right, so it has been a while since I've sat here, so literally I keep forgetting <laughs> what I'm doing. So bear with me, hopefully I can get a nice eye look out of this. <laughs> And also, of course, as soon as I think I'm gonna film, I get like a load of breakouts. So please ignore that. We're focusing on the eyes, okay? <laughs> so because we're dealing with pastel colors today, I'm gonna take the P. Louise base in Rumor Zero, which is just the plain white. You can just use a white concealer, whatever you would like to use. And I'm just gonna tap it on with my brush. Concentrating this mainly on the actual lid and then using just excess around my brow because I don't want it to be too stark, but I wanna take the color all the way up because I don't know how far I'm gonna blend. I'm thinking I'm gonna do like a cut crease and use every single color that I can in the palette. When I get to the edges, I'd use my finger to blend out the actual colour so I don't have a harsh colour there to blend into with my concealer. On first glance these really do almost look like brights. They don't quite look as pastel as I thought they would but let's see how they actually apply on my eyes. So I don't know where to start. <laughs> I think it may be orange to purple to blue to green to yellow let's let's just start shall we so first of all i'm going in with the color golden hour which is the orange and i'm just gonna tuck this right towards the inner corner of my eye just below my brow just above my crease oh that is a decent amount of pigment Wow, okay, it's looking pretty good so far. I mean, that's a really good pigment for a pastel shade. Did I just say that twice? I think I did. <laughs> uh, it's been a long time, okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna go in with a tiny, clean, fluffy brush and I'm just gonna buff off the edges just to blend that out a little. blend in totally there is a little bit of diffusion there but I want a little bit more so I've just dipped in a little bit in this brush and I'm just going to go over the edges there we go that's a lot better okay now I'm going to go into the shade love stick <laughs> which is the pinky shade and I'm gonna blend these two together hopefully let's see what we can get from here oh that's a really nice shade. I'm not worrying too much about transfer onto the actual mobile lid because I'm probably gonna cut the crease anyway. So I just wanna get the color down. This is looking very summery already. I really like these two colors together. I'm just gonna do little motions to blend them together, just overlapping them slightly. guys my camera's having a bit of trouble focusing i think it may be the light in i think it might be a little bit bright so it's not picking it up properly i hope you guys can see it i'll have to see back in editing sorry guys i'm really rusty <laughs> let's blend out the pink i'm doing the same just using that brush with the tiniest bit of the color and just blend it over the edges oh those two have blended really well together I'm quite impressed so far. Just to make you aware, there's a little bit of kick up in the actual pan. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see, but there is a little bit, but not as much as I thought there would be because typically with pastel shades or lighter shades, there's usually a lot of kick up in them, um, but this isn't too bad. Now I'm going in with the shade Euphoria and I'm gonna carry on the process. <laughs> this is like one of my favorite shades in general, just its color. So I'm pretty happy this is in the palette. so pretty. Just want to add a little bit more of the love stick shade in and blend them together. Blend out these edges. I'm really excited to actually try the blue in this palette because it looks gorgeous. You'll have to excuse my eyebrows. 
<laughs> I've been in quarantine for a long time, okay? <laughs> and I have not had them done. So I've been kind of doing them myself and uh, I can dye them fine, but actual maintenance, I'm not the best at. <laughs> so they're looking a bit messed up right now, but it's fine. I'm grateful for my errors. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna blend out the lipstick shade a bit more. I just want this to be like really blown out and effortless looking, you know? All right, now I'm gonna go into the deeper purple, which is called Daydream. I really wanna blow this shade out, so I'm gonna go in with a bigger brush and I'm just going to blend this out and into those shades. I'm loving this right now. It feels so girly and like floaty, <laughs> if that's a good way to describe it. Probably not, but that's how I'm feeling about it right now. I am really impressed with the pigment on these shadows and they stick. They don't just blend away, which I found in the past a lot of pastel shades have. I've never really played with high quality pastel shades that just stick on the lid and actually give off a lot of pigment. I'm really impressed. The price point of this palette as well is crazy. It's like 10 pounds for this little palette. I think I want to take this a little higher so I'm just gonna go in and fine-tune that for a second and then we'll work on the other shades all right so I did a little fine tuning real quick um, and I'm just gonna cut the crease really quickly I'm gonna do a full cut crease and then we'll do the actual lid. Just gonna use a little bit of micellar water with a little q-tip thing or cotton bud we call it in the UK. <laughs> and then I'm gonna apply the P. Louise base again and just cut the actual lid where I took off the base. So, so far I've used four shades and they've all been really good, really pigmented, really blendable. They all merge so well together, which I love. But now let's pat into this blue, which I'm really excited to use. It's like a beautiful greeny sky blue. It's so nice. Um, it's the shade Cloud Free. One thing I will say, okay, I don't know if it's because I'm like, I have bad eyesight. Well, I do, but still. <laughs> um, the actual shade names uh, kind of hard to read. They've used this font for the shade names and because this was small it does kind of make them hard to read. That's a very small nitpicky thing but it's something I'm realizing as I'm trying to read the shade names. There was a lot of kick up on that cloud free shade by the way when I put my brush in so just an FYI. I'm not sure why I cut the crease all the way back here because I kind of want to blur the lines between the purple and the blue. Hopefully I can do that <laughs> but I'm just gonna put this on the outer corner and start the kind of gradient coming over the lid. Whoa, that is such a gorgeous color, oh my gosh. I've been wanting a color like this on my collection for ages. I'm so happy. <laughs> Look how vibrant that is on camera, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna wing this out and then I'm gonna go back into the purple and hopefully just kind of blur the line that I've created there. back into that purple and I'm going to blend it. Hopefully we can get a decent blend even though I created that harsh line. <laughs> you see that? It blended together really well. Sorry if I'm going like in and out of frame. I'm just having a lot of fun right now. <laughs> I'm impressed. So impressed, oh my gosh. I'm bringing the blue kind of on an angle because I want to leave this inner corner more white. Hoping to create a gradient on the lid, we shall see. <laughs> so I'm just starting this on an angle. Okay, now I'm going to go into the shade Days and I'm gonna just start by patting this on in a little line. I'm just gonna pat out the creases on my eye a second. So I'm just gonna start going on the bare lid first, or rather the eye base first, just to make sure we can really see that color before I blur the lines. That, 
I pretty much don't need to do like any blending. They have just like completely blended into themselves. That was really impressive. <laughs> I am however just gonna go in with the brush I use for the blue and just tap over the edges just to make sure, you know, we are all blended here. Now I'm going to go into the brighter green, the more lime, neon-y green called Serenity and I'm going to go right next to it. We're almost done guys. After this, it's one more colour. <laughs> Doing exactly the same thing. Okay, this is turning out decent if I say so myself. I'm just going to go back in with the day shade and I'm just going to tap over the edges to just blend it a little bit more. And the final colour that we have to use is this light, which is the bright yellow. And I'm just going to do the same here. Because I want to transition this into the white on the inner corner, um, I'm not going to bring this in too far. This probably would have been easier for me to use an actual flat brush to apply this, but I made it kind of awkward for myself. But it's fine. just gonna pull this back onto the green to blend it so that is pretty much it for the eye I can't believe this eye I think it's so good and it hasn't taken me that long I say that it's probably been about half an hour <laughs> but I've been taking my time and having fun with it so I don't think that is that long I just want to set this inner portion of the eye I want to use this which is by Essence my partner actually bought this for me which was so nice it just kind of arrived at my door and I was like I do not remember ordering this <laughs> um, but it's because I've been wanting a pastel eyeshadow for a while and he knew that and literally he ordered this and it came to my door the same day the Beauty Bay Plastels one came because um, I'd ordered that one but it's basically like a shimmery pastel palette and these are so good I played around with this a little bit thinking of In the Clouds which is this one by here this white -ish shade it has a kind of blue shift to it I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on camera but it is beautiful these shimmers are pretty insane so I'm just going to pop that on the inner third and then I'll go ahead do the other eye do my base and stuff um and then we'll finish up the eyes together so I'll be right back all right so let's finish up these eyes sorry if the lighting's changed a little bit I have pretty much lost daylight may have changed but hopefully it hasn't actually affected the colors okay so for the under eye I was thinking about bringing some of these colors back in so I'm first gonna go in with daydream again and I'm gonna just mix that into the blue now bearing in mind this doesn't have the white base underneath and also I've set my concealer so this is gonna test the pigment a little bit more hopefully it still comes out on the eye it's not showing up as much but that is kind of expected because it's going over powder and it's got nothing to stick to so if you really want that pop of pastel then I definitely suggest using a white base or at least a tacky base so it'll just allow the pigment to grip more because at the moment it is kind of not so much fluffing off but it's just not sticking as much so I've got more of a wash of color more than the actual pigment that's in the pan you can see the difference between here and here where I had the actual wet base down still though I think it's pretty impressive considering it is a pastel shade. Now going into Euphoria, blending those two together. Now I didn't really have fallout in the first instance, but I am seeing a little bit of fallout. I'm hoping I'll just be able to dust that away. Fingers crossed. I am packing the pigment on my brush though because I know it's gonna be a lighter application, so it's probably my fault. So yeah, I definitely recommend a tacky base with this one to make sure it doesn't fluff everywhere. I'm just gonna stick with those two colors on my under eye. I think it looks really soft and pretty that way. I'm just gonna use my powder brush and hopefully just flick this off. Yeah, there we go. My base was set, so it didn't really stick to anything. So this is completely gone. No need to panic, okay? Not that I was, of course. I'm as cool as a cucumber. Um, <laughs> I was considering doing a nude waterline, but now I kind of want to put like a pop of color as well. Just, you know, why not? Considering between these two. I think the green would actually look really cool in the waterline so I'm actually going to use this today. I'm just going to mix in a little bit of the white just to make it a little bit more pastel. Okay 
so I quite like that. I like the way it's all coming together. Um, I'm gonna quickly pop off and do this eye. Before I head off and do lashes and everything, I'm just gonna take a little bit of the blue and I'm just gonna like blow this out just a little bit further because I thought I was done, but I just want this to be more blown out. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. Such an amazing color. I love this blue so much. Brush is down. <laughs> I really love it. I'm gonna go now, put on those lashes, mascara, etc. And yeah, this is the finished look. Okay you guys, so this is the finished look. For a bit of brow bone highlight and on the inner corner I used my highlighters that I've used today. Ofra Star Island highlighter and then as a topper I used the Fenty Beauty How Many Carrots Diamond Balm. Honestly this looks a mess because of how many brushes I've dipped into it, but still just adds a pretty sparkle. I love it. Okay, but yeah. I hope you guys like the look. Let's zoom you out and tell you my thoughts on the palette. I think you pretty much know it already, but <laughs> I just need to speak about this because the poof is in the pudding. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, <laughs> one sec. Okay, so this palette, I mean, I've tried Beauty Bay palettes before now. For example, the Mitchell one, and I know that's a really good palette. The quality is really good, the blendability, pigment, everything like that. It's really good. However, I was not expecting this to be so good. Just considering the price point and also the size, I just, I don't know. <laughs> Something in me just felt, well, it'll be nice to try and hopefully if it works out, I'll have some pastel shades to blend out other shadows with, you know? Boy, was I wrong. This is just a standalone palette. The colors are so vibrant but still pastel. They work so well and I know for a fact I'm probably gonna get a lot of use out of this. I have said before now I love pastel colors. I think especially because I'm very pale. <laughs> pastel colors are such a good thing to have in your collection. Even just for blending shades if it's not for something to stand alone. But I cannot believe this. It's so nice, the pigment was unbelievable, the blendability even better and it stuck to the lid and stayed there. Even on my set base you could still see the colours, they are again a bit more subdued. Like I said earlier, it's better to use a tacky base, but the actual colours and the way they performed, I'm so <laughs> impressed and I'm obsessed with this colour look that I've got going on. And I managed to use every single colour in this palette, guys. As far as the consistency of the shadows, they're all pretty similar. The one with the most kick up was the blue, Cloud Free. So just be wary of that, be really light with your brush when going in. The Serenity shade had like zero kick up. <laughs> the kick up in the pan doesn't really bother me that much. What does bother me is Fallout. This is just, you know, one of those things that's just a bit of a pet peeve with eyeshadows. When I used it on my tacky base, I had zero fallout on my face. However, when I put it on my lower lash line, I did have a little bit, but that just swept away because my base was set. So it may be better for you to use this either on a tacky base or do it before you've done any of your foundation or anything like that to stop the risk of it, you smearing any color on your face. Yeah, I really, really like this palette. I love the packaging as well. I think it's very pretty. And I also like the range of colors you have in here. Like it's not all just like pastel purples and things like you've got orange in there, green. Um, yeah, 10 pounds as well. This is such a good palette for 10 pounds and I would definitely recommend it. I honestly can't wait to play around with this a little bit more. There's been a trend going around recently, which is like draw me a makeup look. Um, I posted that into a Facebook makeup group that I'm in. I was thinking about posting it to my Instagram, but I don't know, people are more active on the Facebook group. So I did that and I've actually got a few makeup looks that I can try and recreate and a few of those are pastels. So I'm definitely gonna be getting use of this palette and experimenting more and yeah, I just feel like for the price and the way it performs, it is definitely going to be on my go-to shelf in my collection. 
100%. If my review has helped you decide that you want this palette, then don't forget to enter my giveaway. Please thumbs up this video and comment down below. Make sure you're also subscribed. Hit the red button down below and the bell button so you too can own one of these palettes. I can't wait to get to try in other products that I've got stashed away that I've just been buying um, and I haven't been trying because I wanted to review them on here with you guys. I've got XX Revolution, I've got some Anastasia Beverly Hills, Iconic London. I've got a big box of stuff that I need to try and uh... <laughs> we need to get to it so lots of things are coming again I just want to thank you for being patient with me and sticking around and thank you to the new people who decided to subscribe even though I've been MIA for a little while and I appreciate any of you guys that reached out to me I thought I'd feel a bit weird sitting down to film but actually today it felt really good so glad to be back I hope you guys have been well and you're staying safe and you've all you know managed to avoid Miss Corona <laughs> but yeah Take care, stay safe, and I hope to see you on the next one. Till then. Bye, guys. I'm just going to go in with a clean little fluffy brush, and I'm just going to focus bliss. I'm not worrying too much about transfer onto the lid. This is like very, this is looking very sum. touch your skin, where do I begin? Miss you you I am really hello I'm just gonna use my cellar water and I, uh, of course I would spill it all of myself <laughs> because I want this to transition into like the <laughs> 